Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive, and welcome to your love read for the first two weeks of September 2022. This is going to be for you and who, whether you're single, coupled, or have yet to meet someone, you might find something that resonates on one side versus the other. Feel free to reverse sides as you see fit. So let's begin, guys. Let's jump in. All right, so what is going on for Virgo? What I'd like to do is just go ahead and pull an overarching energy. So we'll start with the card first uh, in terms of the big picture in love, right? Uh, so keep that in mind. If you're looking for career, money, finance, guys, or perhaps a general monthly read, you're going to see that right at the end of this video. All right? I am actually recording this on the new moon in Virgo, but on August 27th, okay? So I thought that I would tap into these energies on this date for you with this new moon. So we'll see what intentions want to come out uh, for your first two weeks of September and what you need to keep in mind, all right? So let's take a look what we got. So what's most important for Virgo, the big picture in love? What do we get? Uh, what wants to come through, okay? Uh, I'll put this aside and put this over here. Ooh, I like this already. Okay, guys. Okay, so this card is all about being true to yourself. Perfect message, right, guys? You know, good reminder for all of us. But this is showing up in your love read. So this is saying, what do you want in love? Because this is coming through for you. Okay, so this is an opportunity that you might be uh, expected to meet some sort of expectations. Okay, there you go. Uh, so in th if this is the case, this is saying is that you don't have to be tied to what others want over listening to, you know, your soul and what you want, like your, your inner, uh, your inner guidance and your inner, inner counsel. So this is the opportunity to uh, abandon yourself um, you know, from other people's expectations and not uh, ignore how you really feel, but really pursue what you really feel in your heart. All right. So this could have to do with a relationship or a situation. Okay. You know how that lands on you on your journey here, but this is about summoning up all of your divine energy and calling in the strength to be yourself, no matter what others think. Okay. This is key because you live your life. It's no one else living your life. And if this has to do with a relationship, you're going to be with that person, right? And you'll be surrounded with their energy and such. So you have to really tap into what's true for you. And if, it, and if you don't, it, it, it can actually, and you don't take the time to do that, it can actually come out later on. And, and sometimes that might be more difficult, okay? Uh, when the relationship has, you know, a few more years into it, you know, with children, kids, and th different things like that. So it's really about really focusing on, 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 on selling out for a temporary win rather than maintaining this beautiful uh, opportunity to be faithful to yourself from the very beginning. Okay, and I know that might sound a little harsh, guys, but I, if it does, you know, it, it's what's coming through here. Okay, so don't be pressured into playing nice just because and a lot of a lot of us can kind of do that sometimes uh and this is all really about uh really being honest with yourself and making your feelings known all right whoo i gotta tell you guys I mean, it's it's it, 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 this is about looking forward looking at you and then looking forward so let's take a look at how this is going to play out in your read okay let's take a look virgo what this is all right what's coming up for virgo in their love life first two weeks of september 2022 what is really important for Virgo to know in their love life all right so what I get where you're at right now beautiful you're at the Empress energy so this is about that birthing of something new this is about knowing your value this is truly about you know really living in the fact that you're protected you can create what it is that you want or birth something new so this is what I feel. There's a new way of communicating, which is a three card in this here. Threes are about communication, how you think, write, and speak, but communicating your value and your truth and standing by that, right? So the little shield, standing by your creation of that. So this is what I'm getting. Anything else where you're at? Emperor energy. And, and, and this is like a new solid, strong foundation, Aries energy. Uh, I get the, I get, look at, I get a, look at this. This is a divine counterpart. You've got the emperor, all the kings that are that weave, weave into one is the emperor. All the queens into one create the empress. This is a divine counterpart, guys. So this might be with a you know a situation. I got a, someone that's looking towards you, okay, that sees you, all right. And this is about a current situation. Give me a card on this emperor, all right. Give me a card. 
uh, page of rods could be getting a message from this person it could be an opportunity uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy okay an opportunity of making progress or some sort of discovery has been made all right now if you're taking on all this energy here Virgo what I'm getting is that to start a strong solid foundation moving forward and making progress all right um, let's take a look at what the divine cards have to say for you here in this moment uh, what do we get courage the courage to make the bold move and be true to yourself Wow guys timing timing's coming up here okay you can actually do this in a very loving way and it can be done in a very non-aggressive way of course and, and having the courage to do that but uh, you know in in, in, in in any event there is something that's got to be let go and something to be taken advantage of right so it's like you there's there's gonna be a, a, some sort of decision what is crossing you in this moment what is crossing you in the moment what is that what do we get resurrection judgment making a decision yeah wow guys it is gonna re it's gonna resurrect you tell me what is uh what it is that virgo needs to focus in on on most here knowing the situation motioning forward this is about putting the motion forward and and putting in the work that's necessary to go towards what it is that you want uh, this is motioning forward and putting in that effort okay towards what you want which means putting an end to something, okay, scorpionic energy, and uh, and then moving forward. It could be has something have to do with your past. It could be a, a connection, a relationship of some sort. Um, it's it's about uh, looking at your past and putting something to an end of that, and then looking at the bigger picture, hermit energy, okay. Uh, so it could be an opportunity to uh, see the bigger picture within a situation, okay. So it could be that you're focusing in on that right now, and it's about creating a bigger picture in this. Hmm. Your energy is showing up. You're putting something to, 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 to an end of the past and not putting more effort into that. Give me another card on this from uh, the pink deck. Let's take a look. What you need to focus in on. You need to focus in on the bigger picture that's coming to fruition. Uh, wow, okay, what you need to focus in on is the surprise. And, uh, and go for the one in a million special kind of love. You might have someone around you really that you wanna to move towards, all right? One in a million, a surprise, an unexpected gift. You might have bumped into someone. Wow, you need to focus on the surprises in life and the love that you really, really want. Maybe perhaps you're going towards that one in a million love and you know it exists and you don't wanna settle for less. Some of you, that's the case. And that's okay, you know. What's in your strength position for you, Virgo? What do we have? Powerful read, guys. I've got the three of wands. And I've got the devil, uh, which is a, a scorpionic energy. Excuse me, the devil's Capricorn energy, guys. I'm just, I'm, I'm looking at this. I was just looking at your, your, what you need to focus in on. And then the king of cups. So your strength is, this is about making progress, moving forward, having preparation and foresight. So developing some sort of plan. And then I get, you know, to overcome any sort of addictions, toxicity of some sort of behavior, and then balancing out your emotions here, balancing things up, being an authority of one's emotions. Okay. This is in your strength position to be able to do that. So that is what I'm getting. Give me a card on this devil energy. Um, what is on this devil energy here? I'm going to pull a card. Give me a card in this devil energy on what that might be. And um, give me a tarot on this too. I don't know what this other one is. Uh, okay, it has to do with the partnership. See, in a partnership, maybe that you felt ashamed in the past. Now that you understand that situation passes and time heals and you can learn to grow. So, you know, I got to clarify the Capricorn energy, the devil energy, that toxicity has to do with the partnerships, all right? It has to do with some sort of union that you have. And uh, it's, it's maybe you felt ashamed in the past and you understand that situations pass, time helps you heal and you learn and you grow. This is what I get. So now you understand that situations do pass and, and things grow and now you can have authority over your emotions. So what's in your near future then, knowing this? And give me an, um, another card. What do we have, what is this? Deception, and, and it's about uh, maybe some sort of deception of the past and teamwork. 
and uh, this is about the tower coming down. So in your near future, the deception, uh, there's a deception of teamwork. There was a deception of teamwork that's being, that was involved and the tower came down unexpected, unavoidable. And then what do we get? The new wheel of fortune. Embrace the tower, guys. It's a good tower. It's going to bring in fresh energy to be able to uh, uh, be able to celebrate and to bring oh, and end a karmic cycle and to bring forth your destiny. I'm telling you, this is what's coming through here. There's deception of a teamwork, and so the universe says, this, if, "If you're not going to bring it down, I'm going to bring it down." Okay? Because there's deception. It's about bringing it down. Now, this could be from you or towards you. Uh, but all I can tell you is that the karmic cycle has ended and you've got fresh new energy coming through. Now that is something to celebrate. It, it's like everything is in the past. It's like, again, situations past, times heals and grows and a new season and new energy is coming in. Okay. And you're focused on loyalty, trustworthy, and someone that is reliable. Okay. Let's take a look at what is on this other side for this other person, Virgo. What do we have? Could be doing with the Gemini. Okay. Uh, and something maybe has, what's crossed is something maybe has come to an end, perhaps dealing with the Gemini, okay? Uh, and uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, and that's Gemini, the lover's card. It has to do with some sort of union. So this person, something's come to an end with some sort of union. Now, this could be with you or with another person, all right? Uh, give me a card on the Ten of Swords. Uh, what do we have? Uh, making progress after something of, of the sorts. This is about making progress after that, being able to move forward, discovering something and moving forward fire energy so this is about them discovering something about that came to an end and moving forward all right let's take a look at what we might get for this person i want to get uh anything more that you want to give us on making progress from this ten of swords making progress what do we get self-esteem focusing on self-esteem Someone's questioning their self-worth and their abilities, but they are making progress after something came down, something came to an end that they feel a loss at. Wow. What is it that they need to focus in on? Balancing things out, equal give and take, generosity, six of pentacles. Six of pentacles is self-improvement, uh, you know, in the day-to-day, -day, mentally, spiritually, and physically, uh, being able to make improvements. Uh, I get queen of cups, calm, uh, I get, you know, calm, intuitive and compassionate, you know, and, and then be able to get the rest and, and, you know, the, the rejuvenation that they need. They need to focus on getting rest to feel calm, to balance the things, things out. They could, ha it could have to deal with an Aquarian. Okay. Or this could be a person that's going through some sort of healing. Okay. Um, yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, anything else that may want to come through in terms of what they need to focus in on and healing? What do we get? Caution. Someone's hesitant about how to proceed because they're afraid of making mistakes. Now, it could be that this Aquarian is, um, you know, someone that they maybe are involved with or perhaps there's been some sort of, I, I get more than two people here because I get a third person coming in over here, okay? And um, so maybe they're a third party uh, came into play in terms of a union and you were involved. Maybe you were, I think that you had a commitment or some sort of union of some sort and, and someone else came in and someone let someone come in in some way. Okay. Interesting. Let's take a look at what we have in terms of the oracles on what they need to focus in on. New seeds, plant new pathways, new seeds. Maybe they're planting new seeds with someone or uh, after this uh, disconnect or they are going through some healing after some sort of loss or defeat in, in a union. What is in the strength position for this person? What is their strength? Hangman upright. No more delays. They've been enlightened. Okay. And what else? Ace of cups, new inspiration. Uh, this is an opportunity for compassion and intimacy. Now being able to move forward, no more delays. Uh, and, and then I get, uh, the, the Knight of Swords and then I get the, uh, I get, uh, the world card. So I get that there's no more delays in moving forward. This person needs to focus on compassion and intimacy. They're ready to move forward and they're not going to, this is about, they're not going to be too hasty. Uh, and there's been some sort of successful completion. So this is about being hasty and, and something coming to an end completion. This could be someone being hasty, moving. Give me a card on this Knight of Swords. 
Oh, okay. So this is about grounding something. Hmm. I get the four of uh, wands. Their strength is to develop a happy home and harmony. Truly really focus on that. Okay. And they're getting past, they're seeing past uh, illusions or, or promises. Their strength is to see beyond that and to focus on positive warm vibes. What's in this person's near future? Interesting. Near future. Near future, what do we get? Um, focusing on a strong, solid foundation. Four of Pentacles. They're, this person's focused on their foundation and balancing things out. Temperance energy to get it renewed, to become renewed and see eye to eye. So they're focused on their foundation, Four of Pentacles, and their security. And they're balancing their emotions so they can get renewed and, and perhaps have a conversation. Give me a card on the sun. Yeah, and opening up a new manifestations. New manifestations and open up a door to a, a new opportunity. This is manifestation reaching prosperity. This is two people coming together and a new opportunity to be able to do that. Wow, guys. Interesting. Wow. I'm just going to pull a quick little card um, that what might, might be coming from you and then to them. And I'm going to leave it there, guys. I'm not going to do an extended on this one. But you on your side, near future, what do we have in the feelings? My emotions are like a roller coaster right now. And then this other person, I keep getting signs that remind me of you. You, I'm sorry for leaving you hanging. And then on this other person's side, I'm settling for the life I thought I wanted. Whoa. Wow, you guys. I'm going to leave it right there. Note your comments, guys. Like and subscribe. Let me know if this resonates. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.